standard deviation is taken by getting the square root of the summation of the x, that's the score, minus the mean, okay, the average, and this quantity is squared, all right? Over, this all over n minus 1. n would be the number of scores minus 1, okay? So that's the formula for standard deviation. Make sure that you copy that in your notebook before I give you our sample problem. Slide here, I'm giving you a sample problem of our standard deviation computation. Okay, for example, Robert took a sample of five recent matches for his favorite soccer team. Here is how many goals the team scored in each match, okay? So meron siyang five scores dito. Okay, so these are the scores. And he wants to solve the standard deviation. Okay, gusto niyo isolve ang standard deviation. So again, your formula for standard deviation is shown here. That's the square root of the summation of x. That's the score minus the mean. Uh, the, the x with the bar there, that's the average or the mean. The quantity is squared all over n, the number of scores, minus 1. Okay? So that means for you to solve the standard deviation, unang-una muna, kukunin natin yung mean or your average, this one here. Okay? So kunin natin yung average. The average, of course, is taken by just adding all the scores, dividing it by n or the number of items that we have. Okay? So we have 0 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 5. All over 5. 5 dahil meron tayong limang items dito or limang scores dito. Okay, so 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 5, that's 10 over 5. So we divide those by 5. That means our mean, our average would be 2. Okay, so the mean or the average would be 2. And we proceed now to solving our standard deviation. Okay, so standard deviation again, that should be the square root of the summation of x minus x now with bar dapat to, no? x minus the mean, the quantity squared, over n minus 1. So we get the summation of this. So that means we have 0, that's the first score, minus 2. Yung 2 po is our average. Okay, so 0, the first score, minus 2 na average, the quantity is squared, plus 2, which is our second score, minus 2 na average squared, plus the third score that is 1, minus 2, that is our average squared still, plus 2, the fourth score that we have, minus the average of 2 squared, plus 5, the last score that we have, minus 2, the average squared, all over n, 5 po, dahil meron tayong 5 na scores, minus 1. That's part of our formula. Okay? So that would give us the square root of 4. Saan natin kinuha itong 4? 0 minus 2 is negative 2. And we square that. So negative 2 times negative 2, that, give, that would give us positive 4. Okay? Then you have 2 minus 2. So that's 0. 0 times 0 would just be 0. Okay? Then you have... 1 minus 2, so 1 minus 2, that would be negative 1 squared, that's negative 1 multiplied by negative 1, that would give us positive 1. Then you have still 0, katulad lang po siya ng second score natin. Then the last score, we have 5 minus 2, that would be 3 squared. So 3 times 3, that would give us 9. Okay, so that's 4 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus 9 over 4. The 4 po is taken from, from 5 minus 1. Okay, so galing na po siya sa 5 minus 1. Okay, now adding it all up, that gives us 4 plus 1 plus uh, 9. Neglect na po natin itong mga zeros. That would give us 14. Okay, so square root of 14 over 4, or that would be square root of 3.5, and that means our standard deviation is 1.87.